Welcome to Salt Marsh, a small fishing town in the kingdom of Kaoland. The citizens of Salt Marsh are just nice, totally normal, salt of the earth type people. If you're in the mood for libations, head on over to the Snap and Line for some refreshing lobster claw wine. More in the market for new armaments? The Dwarven Anvil can take care of all your plate mail bikini needs. Or, if you want to take out a vicious burrito smuggling gang, then you can hire this ragtag menagerie of adventurers to help you out. So, what happens when an owl, a horse, a turtle, a frog, and an elf walk into a bar? Well, why don't you stick around and find out? Hello, Honk. everyone. Okay, I don't even know what Andy was doing there. Honk? Uh, Andy's a goose. Or a car. Or a goose car. Untitled Goose Andy. Um, <laughs> hello, everyone. Welcome to HelpFuGo Presents the Goats of Salt Marsh. My name is Gautrain. Oh, I'm no. Founders. <laughs> Why are we oh knowing? Because <laughs> we're all out of order on the thing. Oh, are we? No. Oh, right. Oh, no. Oh, I'm still the DM. Please hold. But Lena's, Lena's Joel. Hey, I'm gunk. Who wants, who wants <laughs> to take over Who wants to take over talking duties for me while I fix this? Andy, go. Hey, everyone. Talking duties. I know. I'm going to be over. You introduced the podcast. It's the intro <laughs> speed. Pre prepared, am I? Uh, welcome, welcome to Hello Goat Gaming, in which we're playing the Goats of Salt Marsh. Oh my goodness! Um, I'm Andrew Gilbert. Uh, uh, we're not really introducing yet. I forgot. Um, and Rachel's DMing. That's a thing. And hey, what are what are what are what is the right, donation mind, for mind, this time? I fixed, it, I, fixed it, I fixed it. It's done. I'm back. Anyway, hey everybody. You my name's Going Train. I'm one of the, I'm one of the founders and the programming director of Helpful Goat Gaming. I help keep this extremely professional ship running. Zero minutes without chaos. You're damn right, Joel. That is our record. It's also our average. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Alpha Goat Gaming is a small independent game design and game content creation community if you'd like to join the community and we're pretty much always like this so this is it's giving you the flavor pretty well exclamation point discord the fact that uh, Sam just misspelled that is <laughs> on point uh, Discrod Discrod <laughs> Discrod here <laughs> no, no Joel there never was a sign that said one minute without chaos this is goats of goddamn salt march. Um, <laughs> That's true. Uh, so if you'd like to join, hang out with us, we do movie nights, game days, uh, chat, hang out about our content, chat and hang out about TTRPGs and sort of get each other through this uh, strange and freaky thing called life. Um, you can use the link to join our Discord. Uh, we stream multiple times a week here on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Helpful Goat. And you can also check our full archives on YouTube. Just look for Helpful Goat Gaming over on YouTube. Uh, let's see. As I mentioned, we stream multiple times a week. Coming up tomorrow, we have Spire, GM'd by uh, Elise So Dreamy. Uh, and on Friday, we will have the return for the season finale. Some scheduling things got weird. <laughs> of uh goats and dragons the fates of rin uh featuring andy dming uh lena and i playing and rachel guest starring for a few episodes it's been months it's been 84 years i don't um, remember what it was like before clamp i don't remember so. the before times and i don't think i want to <laughs> the, the um, before times no uh, so yes, uh, that will be coming up on friday that'll be at 9 p.m eastern spire on thursday at 8 30 p.m eastern um let's see besides those things if you'd like to support us more of this insanity uh leave us i'm not going to say more professional but at least better funded for whatever this is um you can use either exclamation point coffee ko-fi to contribute directly to our coffee 
fun. Uh, or you can also use exclamation point merch and go check out our merch store where we have lots of fun designs, which I'm not wearing or drinking from any of at the moment. Um, it's actually kind of I, I, I got my uh, hoodie and everything, Thanks. and it's awesome. And it's brilliant. And Darcy immediately took it and I'm never seeing it again. Order a second one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that's going to be theirs too. Like, Oh, uh, that's true. It's that's just going to become a stock of yeah. Things. Fair, fair. Um, get a secret one. Let's see. Uh, besides that, exclamation point donate uh, we use to highlight a cause. Uh, we still have a carryover from uh, Pride Month with the Trevor Project, one of the causes that's near and dear to our heart, supporting LGBTQ youth in America. And we encourage you, as always, if uh, you use these links to find some more information, find out more info, find... Um, just sort of elements of this or sort of the the severity of uh, the challenges that are faced in these communities. As always, we encourage you to look for a local charity that you can, if you are able to, donate time, money, uh, connections, etc. Because those donations go a really, really long way, especially in your community, and it's much harder for them to... Why is hey, Rachel? All of the sound suddenly went away, and then it came back. I'm sorry. Okay. It just I just okay. suddenly <laughs> you oh, looked like Christ. you were. No, the ironic thing is because you weren't hearing anything, you looked like you were hearing voices. You're just like, oh god, the ghost. Legitimately ghosts. thought you were possessed by a spirit for a moment. <laughs> I just thought, oh, I should tell Galway that his mic's not working. And then I was like, maybe it's me. But everyone so. else is looking normal. Yes. Welcome to the refrain of every one of my Zoom meetings when one of my coworkers freezes. And I'm like, is it them or me? <laughs> but uh, yes, uh, we heard you check that out as always. Um, take some time if you have the resources to spare. Uh, really appreciate it. Uh, outside of that, I think that covers most of what we have going on. Also, as always, check out our podcasts. Uh, we have three feeds now. We have the Goats and Dragons feed, which includes uh, the Fates of Rin. Uh, we have Helpful Goat Presents, which includes uh, shorter campaign seasonal stuff, uh, as well as all of the campaigns that go into my world of tier. Uh, and then we also have a standalone feed for Dom and Dragons, where Helpful Goat plays Dungeons and Dragons with Dominic Monaghan, because we're an internet company and that's what we do um you had to know i was slipping that in uh <laughs> andy's down um <coughs> and now with that which is far less dour than usual i'm gonna turn it over to our dm for tonight rachel hey i am ready for this do 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 anyway hi i'm rachel I am the DM today, and I am totally in charge and with it. I use she, her, hers pronouns, and I'm going to go to my... This is not the one where we talk about bottoms and tops. I'm going to go to my this direction, to Monty. Uh, honk, honk. I am Monty. I use they, them pronouns i'm gonna be i think gunk grung ranger uh who also uses they them or he him pronouns and i'm gonna go down to andy honkity honk uh i am andy yes. Gilbert, and i play uh professor baz wolford uh who who is uh, uh an owl person and he uh goes by he him his uh, pronouns and I'm going to go back up to Monty. Uh, That's honky not honk. Honk, honk. Um, I honk, honk. Go Monty's just going to keep passing it around. To Lena. Cool. Hi. Do I also have to honk? Yes. Um, honk, yes, honk. Please. Yeah, we're the honking <laughs> goats of Salt Marsh. Everybody knows this. I'm Lena. My pronouns are she, her, hers. And tonight I'm playing... Ocean Blue, the sea elf paladin. Yes, yes, the sea elf paladin, whose pronouns are also she, her, hers. And I'm gonna go that way. I'm so awkward pointing to Joel. Honk, honk. Who am I? 
Hmm. I'm Joel. Go by here, he him his. Playing Dunlum the Turtle Cleric. Also he him his. And we're gonna honk up that way. Oh god. Oh Beautiful. honking god. Uh as I mentioned, my name is Color Trainer. Uh, my pronouns are he, him, his, and I'll be playing Virgil Mondragon, the centaur barbarian whose pronouns oh, are also. What? You didn't honk. I did. I said, oh, honk and God. I wasn't and, listening to you. <laughs> that is and not my problem. Time to re honk. Honk, honk. <laughs> honk. Honk. Uh. I play Virgil Bar uh, Mondragon, the centaur, barbarian, uh, poem. Let's not forget that. Oh, yeah. Um, scrolling, scrolling. Okay, it's a uh, honk honk back to me. Uh, <laughs> Here within the abbey, mayhem and fighting persists. Okay, but seriously, what is the deal with all of these damn cultists? As long as there's loot and payment to score, bring on the adventure behind every door. Big excite and thank you, Saltmarsh crew, for all that you do. Much love, I can see and hear you. Oh, Chelsea, thank you. Honk, honk, Chelsea. Honk, honk. <laughs> um, so apropos of nothing, this doesn't, this isn't relevant to anything for tonight. How do I click on a token and get a character sheet to come up again? Alt. Was it alt, alt double click. click? I think. Yeah. Yeah, alt double click. Nice. Don't worry about that. None of I it's DM'd relevant. I've on roll twenty before too. <laughs> Beautiful. It sucks real bad. Uh, definitely, I'm not opening m more and more character sheets. So you're good. <laughs> Excuse. Fine. Uh, anyway, do we? Does anybody want? Do Do you guys? Want to um, recap what happened last week? Big door. So there was a bottleneck. Yeah. And okay. you see, it was more, it was more necky than bottle. There was a bottleneck. I don't okay, know I'm going with this. You cannot but... look at a fucking neck of a bottle and tell me that it's not shaped like this. But, but that... I don't go around and be like, yeah, I got this vase. I do. Yeah, my face and I put some flowers in. Let me just nice talk on the face. microphone real quick. Let <laughs> me just get my microphone. Me. I just ate a donut. <laughs> it's the shape Look, of I it. I put my hands. Just the shape of it. You continue. Wow. So there was a bottleneck. Yeah, there was a bottleneck. Mm -hmm. And, and we didn't really follow the bottleneck. <laughs> we no! Yeah. The tank sort of ran out. So first, uh, we, we knocked it. on the door. Having performed some beautiful <laughs> right, stealth yeah. recon, no one fucking knew we were there. Knock, knock. Then we kind of had a conversation that was more or... That I think literally included, like, me asking, like, which of the following things would be most likely to have you let us in? And just like listing out like missionaries of various gods, like just, just want to talk to you. Talking didn't go great. It did give uh, their entire force time to assemble. Well, not their entire force necessarily, but a whole lot of them. But it almost went good, and that counts for something. We almost talked them into letting to to not fighting. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, if we just chosen to lie to them at any point, I done and dusted. Um. Then we could have had our 30 highly trained combat dwarves that are on the ship. Or was that yeah. last time? No, that was last time. Yeah, Th that, that was the merchant. That was the man who would have been a merchant prince who was obsessed with the highly trained uh, dwarvish fighting crew. Um, so then we, 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 we killed some people. Yep. Seemed like Ozzie Mendias was the uh, was the leader. Uh, maybe a second was Ogman. Yeah, he was the big buff uh, gladiator yeah. man. The, those names also feel very somewhere. close to each other for being in a, you know, being like the captain and lieutenant in a pre-written Right. Adventure. There was Ozymandias, Augment, and Odium were the three named characters in this. Odium is the one that turned invisible uh -huh. and you never saw again. I'm pretty sure that's uh -huh. a Yu-Gi-Oh character, so. <laughs> and then you've got Blue Eyes White Dragon. 
Oh, and... good. <laughs> Time wizard. I gave their leader a mushroom, and I thought we were going to be buddies, and I really liked their cult, and then then they attacked us. Because so I thought their cult would be like a sister cult. Start worshipping Orcus. Oh, yeah. right. And, and these fuckers... Okay, the, the source of this episode's title, so how many cultists are in this area is coming from the observation, which I will say is running through Virgil's mind of like, okay, wait, we've run across smugglers, lizard folk, cultist, 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 like Jesus Christ. Is this Just area of the world 90% cults? Yeah. Worry about it. Not enough people fine. worship uh, propane. Yeah. And, and propane accessories. Oh, wait, no, that was procan. Uh, sorry. Uh, yeah, so a lot of you took a lot of hits. It was a pretty, uh, nasty battle. I had, like, eight we characters. almost died. I'm fine. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Okay, the rest of us almost died. You would have been <laughs> fine and escaped with all of us dead. I mean, I think that it's he fine. I could have uh, healed myself and no one else. Uh, so yeah, we basically ended right at the end of the fight. So, um, there was an invisible gentleman, uh, but you haven't seen him since before the fight. And, uh, um, yeah, you have a bunch of rooms you haven't looked in, and you have lost a bunch of health and uh, <laughs> spell slots. So, we also what would found you like some, to do? We also found some stuff on them, uh, a golden medallion, uh, ten emeralds. Uh, yeah. And you guys just put those in your bags, right? I, yeah, I have it in my inventory right now. But if anyone I wants these of, things, I took all of their weapons. Yeah. Of course. And I think we want a short rest. Yes, please. Yeah. Fine. I mean, While they're yeah. short resting, can I like snoop around the other rooms? Or do we all sure. have to take one together? Is that how short rest work? Uh no. You don't you just won't get the benefit of a short rest. I don't get anything. <laughs> yeah. Uh yeah, so they can short rest and you can look around, uh move yourself where you'd like to look. And tell me check. obviously before this, you go in to this door. That door. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have a look around, you guys rest up. Okay, don't don't go down any hallways or anything. Just stay close, please. I I know. I'm just sticking my head in. Don't okay. worry about me, Beth. Uh, yeah, the door is not locked. Okay, cool. I stick my little snoot in. Okay, you can put your character in there just so you can see it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is the meditation room. Mm -hmm. This room has been cleared of all debris and is currently being scrubbed clean by a single no. What? No, it's not. The figure is gone. Why do they always make it be? Because <laughs> then it's like, unless the person is run in from the thing, but then it's... Mm, unless anyway. you've already murdered. Right? Like, you've already murdered him. There's okay. not just a person who's still... Reading this, They've got headphones Go in. back and correct. Right? They've got headphones in. They didn't hear the fighting. They're just scrubbing. <laughs> <laughs> um, And it's currently empty. Uh... Three walls are heavily curtained with draperies of thick black velvet, and the east wall is decorated with a horrible mural depicting a red dragon devouring sheep. Near the west wall is a stone table on which a large iron brazier burns. The table has been scrubbed and scoured, but it has many odd discolorations and scorch marks. A half-melted statue and two badly damaged candlesticks sit beside the brazier. Um... What is your passive perception? 17. Um, you notice that the floor in front of the curtains, there are some abrasions on the stone floor in the southwest corner. That one. Some abrasions on the floor. And Probably uh, a secret door, right? Uh, no, I'll leave that for later. I'll just bookmark that. I'll say, well, I don't know what the fuck they do in that room, but uh, <laughs> fucking I, weird. <laughs> it's weird. 
Uh, and then I'll sneak my stick my snoot in this one. I was just waiting there are for seven people. No, I'm just kidding. I was Sorry. just waiting for Gunk to go in the room, close the door, go through the secret door, and then we're just all like, "Where the fuck did Gunk go?" No, I just, Baz told me to stay close. I'll stay close. I won't this go is the secret door. Three crude pallets lie on the floor, and a large iron kettle stands in the center of the chamber. In the northeast corner is a jumbled pile of broken lumber. Okay, so just crap. Nothing in here. <laughs> I mean, if you want more, you gotta roll for things eventually. Oh, huh. I mean, I can't guarantee that there is more, but I can't. I only tell you what it says unless you make uh, check. I think at the moment, all I'm looking for is like, is there anyone else here? So no right, right. Problem. All right, these ones. Um, th these are Ozzy Mandius's quarters. The room is full of kegs, bags, and boxes. There is a rough cot in the one corner and a great deal of clutter everywhere. Except for the cot, this appears to be nothing more than a disorganized storage room. Go. Oh, no one in there. Next one. Bayleaf's quarters. Bay Empty Leaf. weapon rack. Bayleaf! <laughs> Bay Empty weapon racks and several Get empty you. bins and shelves line the walls of this room. On the floor is a bedroll of three blankets next to a pair of shiny leather boots. I will take those boots and then leave. Shiny uh, leather boots. Okay. Uh, those are... It, it doesn't say you need to do a thing for this. I'm just going to fucking tell you that those are boots of striding and springing. Oh, shit! Yes! Doesn't that, like, make you jump real high? Uh, I can probably add it to your thingy. I already jumped so high. That's so fun. All right. And I can double whatever your jump is. Let me. Any more? Oh my god, there's so many more doors. How do I add this to your thing? Drag and drop um, it over to the character sheet. Oh, is that what I do? Uh, that's adding an item in. If you're trying to yeah. add access to a handout, it's uh, edit the handout and then visible by. Why don't I see team. an edit? That's weird. Anyway, I'll fuck with it later. You could just keep a note of that. Yeah. It doesn't say you need to cast identify to know that, so I just decided to let you know it. Yeah. Since and you that took is them. true. It looks like there's only so Jesus. far I've only found one secret door. Jesus cool. Christ. Uh I just called it up. You can jump three times your normal distance. <laughs> though you still cannot jump farther than your remaining movement would allow. Oh, <laughs> yeah. uh, okay. Being oh, able, God damn the it. jump multipliers in D and D are in Five E are really weird because they're always functionally useless. They're like, yes, you can now jump thirty feet. That's about it. Um. Uh. Ba 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 ba. Okay, these are Ogman's quarters. This chamber reeks of wine. Small kegs are scattered everywhere. A floor-to-ceiling wine rack filled with bottles dominates the southern wall. Uh, uh, sure. A crudely made pallet of rags and stacks covers the center of the room. Oh, nothing dangerous. Doesn't seem to be cool. Moving on. I'm just sweeping the place to see if there's anything yep. to worry about. <clears throat> this is the kitchen. A large cauldron filled with smoldering charcoal burns in the center of the room. Assorted cookware and seasonings rest on the floor and on shelves. There is also an ornate scroll tube on the shelf. The room is fairly clean, but the air is humid and greasy. A large tub of dirty water stands in the corner, surrounded by dirty dishes. This sounds like my kind of room. You should show me this. I will for sure <laughs> show you that. No. No um... meta gaming, Lena. <laughs> Uh, I'll grab the scrolls case to give to Baz and then leave. Um, did I say there was a scroll case in here? Yeah, um, an ornate scroll tube. I literally said that. Yeah, yeah. I just said tube. I was like, did I miss it? How did I think there was a scroll lady if you nope. didn't say that? I'm just, I don't pay attention to what I read. It just comes out of my mouth, you know? Okay. Um... Oh, that room now. That is room I like number. that we're also just camping in the middle of these dead bodies and just like watching it. Slap, 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 slap. <laughs> <laughs> right. Nothing in here. Slap, 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 slap. 
Oh, I also bring out a moldy plate. Just because. <laughs> there you go. These are the disciples' quarters. Several large bookcases lean against the walls in this cold room, and a high chair, a high chair, not a high chair, and a scribe's desk sit to the right of the door. The bookcases are loaded with books and scrolls. Four bedrolls are stacked neatly in the corner. Oh, I will make, I can't pick all that up, so I will make mental note of that. And then, whoa, what is this? <laughs> this is Odium's quarters. That is the gentleman that went invisible. The ro this room contains small statues and figurines. There are statues of dogs and horses, monks and pilgrims, footmen and knights on horseback, and several garden gnomes. All the statues are between one and three feet tall. Standing against the northern wall are two life-size statues. One is a robed skeleton holding a large scythe, and the other is a medusa. On the floor in front of these statues is a pallet of several blankets. Whoa. Dick, um, my snoot in, see all this, and then clo like slowly close the door and just back away. Uh, and then I come back and throw the scroll at Baz and the, the plate at Ocean. Oh. Oh, oh my okay. gosh, she brought me a dirty plate. I sure did. Thank you so much, Gunk. You're such a good friend. There's lots more, but um, there are That's a couple so things. Exciting. Maybe a couple of things we've got to take care of before, uh, before, you know, getting all our mold that we definitely want and need to get. Mm. Um, secret door in that room and real fucking creepy shit that room lots of I love creepy in that shit. One. no this is this is not like fun creepy shit this is like like haunted little girl dolls type of creepy shit oh. so well not yeah. little girl dolls but haunted something definitely haunted uh that room okay oh. oh were you down like where i sensed undead no 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 i uh oh. i didn't go I I stuck close because Baz told me to. So. Uh huh. Cool. Can we roll our our hit dice if we were you resting? Can, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you all got a short rest. I will say that you rested Dance here long time. enough, and that and that uh, gunk looked around enough. Uh, during the short rest, or a little after, could I resummon uh, Ms. Ark? Yeah, sure. I just need ten minutes. You got it. And that in two dice was the exact amount of hit points I was missing. Yay. Everybody is fine and great. All oh, right. Yeah, the name layout would be out of order now. I can be I can be gunk. Oh, you're not, though. <laughs> I can be. Um, what sort of scroll is this I'm that Martian. I well, the scroll have. that you got My is uh, the scroll tube on the spice shelf contains a scroll of simple recipes for flatbread, fish stew, and seagull loaf. Oh. You know, Maybe he loves a good seagull, seagull loaf. No, no, no. I just, yeah. The bird person just got a recipe for seagull loaf. <laughs> <laughs> A, a bit offensive to my tastes, but um, <laughs> considered does a anyone else... move in bird culture? <laughs> yeah, a little. Does anyone else uh, cook? <laughs> anyone else like no. some recipes? No. Sorry, Baz. I just saw paper and thought, oh, Baz oh, likes paper. I'll throw it at him. I but, do. Uh, there's like... plenty more in that room. So. Oh. They're pointing to this. Wait, which room? Fucking Rachel. The this, this one. This one. This one here, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I give the recipes to Dunlum. I think he could best use them. Uh, and then I head up into this room and scour it. Look for uh, anything useful. That's the kitchen over there, Blue. Oh, thank you, Gunk. So uh, where was, where was I'm the going to the stuff? kitchen to find mold. The creepy one was over here. Let's uh, let's check this one out, Virgil. Where was the Just here? scream if you need us. 
Where was what, Joel? I was asking, where is the here, the creepy one? Oh, where Gunk and Virgil are. Which one was which? Now. Can you see yeah. them or? No, because I, I was on the other side. No. Oh, one. I don't know how the fucking yeah. map works for you guys, because it's dumb. Um, Okay. Uh, Baz. You see, so it says the majority of the books and scrolls are merely bookkeeping documents. Uh, one set of five books bound in sky blue leather and, and trimmed in copper is of a more sinister nature. Ooh. I um, know, I think sinister when I see sky blue. <laughs> right? The most sinister color. These five tomes have old, fragile pages. Do you look through them? Yes, of course. If the characters examine them, they discover that the ancient books describe procedures and details for several evil rites and ceremonies. The books make grim and harrowing reading for any character. You feel like it was grim and harrowing. <laughs> the reading was grim and harrowing. <laughs> he says while like, he's probably sitting there with like damn cheese plate or something. Yeah. Fascinating. Fascinating. So it's very important to decapitate the infants in this manner. <laughs> um, but just remember, so in here is uh, a chair, a desk, uh, bookcases, and bedrolls. So you've looked at the bookcases. Sure, I, I will check each of them, looking around for anything secret or hidden as well. Uh, the desk is locked. Oh, interesting. Okay. I didn't check that. Sorry. Yeah, I'll make a note. No. It's not... I'll uh, check the bedrolls and everything else. Just regular old bedrolls. The chair's comfy. It? Oh. I'll sit in the chair for a while and read those books. About evil rights? Oh, yes. Your uh, hollow bones start to shiver. <laughs> the cheese plate provides some comfort, though. <laughs> Uh, okay, who's next? Me with the kitchen. Eric just brought me dinner, so I'm going to attempt to eat and do this at the same time. Going to be great. Um, yeah, give me, give me an investigation check. Nineteen. Nineteen. Mm. You definitely look in the corners and you see where, like, uh, some kind of bread or something must have fallen behind uh, one of the, the tables and they didn't notice it and there's just a whole bunch of mold on it and mushrooms growing out of it. Oh my god. This is heaven. We found the best place ever. I'm gonna give people so much moldy bread tonight. I'm gonna start loading it up in my pockets in my bag. I'm just collecting as much mold and mushrooms and gross things as I can. That bag's going to be real soggy. It's wonderful. <laughs> okay. Um, Sorry, chewing. You're good. Did I get a quick recap of what was in the creepy-ass room? Because you can. I was fixing some of the uh, stream issues. Creepy-ass room. ba ba -dum. This room contains small statues and figurines. There are statues of dogs and horses, monks and pilgrims, footmen and knights on horseback, and several garden gnomes. All the statues are between one and three feet tall. Standing against the northern wall, so those two stars, um, are two life-size statues. One is a robed skeleton holding a large scythe, and the other is a medusa. On the floor in front of these statues is a pallet of several blankets. See what I mean? Real creepy. Yeah, pretty, pretty creepy. Uh, Dunlum, opinions on if this is magical or tied to their god, Orcus? Could I perhaps do a religion check to see if that's any way related to Orcus? Joel doesn't know. Um, with the 15, 
You don't believe that it is. You think that this is most likely something from before the cult came and took over the abbey. You're not. Nope, exactly it's sure just it creepy, started. creepy. Not uh, not orcus, orcus creepy. creepy. Mm. No, no. Magic. Can you see magic into that thing? It just kind of looks thing. over the, the 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 thing. You know the thing where your eyes go weird and you—I don't know. One of you can do it. One of you magic people. Are you, are you talking about when Baz has like the seizures? Ah, oh, that's the up? one, Baz. Yeah. yeah. Get the stick in there. Yeah. No. Hmm. Well, that you know, would not be me. Holding. I, I open the bag of holding. Seizures. Sorry, I open the bag of holding. Just like, all right, load them up. They're probably worth something, right? Which one are you putting the little statues in? Yeah, just uh, as many you're as a life size statue. Um, as many as the little ones we can grab. Uh, they are all made of glazed clay and they are poorly fashioned. Oh. Oh, sad now. Uh, uh, does the scythe look like an actual weapon or just a part of the statue? Part of the statue. Damn. And um, whose passive perception is above 14 or 14 or higher? Yes. Not me. Okay. Well, Gunk and Dunlum, you notice that the floor by the statue of the Medusa shows evidence of wear. Hmm. Hmm. Reckon you could move You're that? You're thinking what I'm thinking? Absolutely. What are we thinking? We're gonna push over this snake one. Medusa is snake. Snake head. Yeah, snake's head. Yeah. Snake's on her hair. <clears throat> uh, you're just gonna push it? I, I can do the pushing. Uh, which direction do you think it's gonna go, though? Do, do you think that perhaps there might be a switch? Ah, switch. Clever. See? Why we got you here, Virgil? I'm still just um, sitting here, si like sizing up the scythe. Like, is there a way I can get that? Cool. All right, let's look for a switch. I'm so excited. <laughs> I love dungeons. Switch. Yeah, you want to give me an investigation check? How about a perception check? <laughs> Uh, you can give me a perception check, but I won't give you advantage on this one. Okay, that's fair. It's... I have a plus seven. And I got nat 20. a nat 20. A nat 20, okay. 27 so you all look around up. the room, and you see that, uh, just for funsies, that uh, there are bits of old bird nests that are in Medusa's hair, and between the skeleton's ribs. Okay, um, it's full goodness. So I'm guessing also, that they were outside at one point. You can also tell just kind of like by maybe seeing what they're made of and stuff, these things weigh hundreds of pounds. Um, you do not see a switch anywhere, but I'm going to say as you look around, you notice that the base of the Medusa statue is a little different. It seems like it looks different than the the uh the other base of the statue and you go to knock on it and discover that it's hollow oh secret compartment maybe right <laughs> my dunlum is just going up to the statue and he's like <laughs> and it's obviously not budging no hmm all right i'm gonna see if i can open this Assumed secret compartment, maybe. Uh, you can. You put your hands on it, and it actually just slides out really easy once you know that it's there. Ah ha ha! Uh, so there are several items that have that it seems Odium has hidden there. There is a spell scroll of command. Ooh. A spell scroll of hold person. Mm hmm. A gilded tome of dark ritual incantations that are written in both Aquan and Infernal. Ooh. And a large silver holy symbol. 
one of these is not like the other. <laughs> uh, cool. I'm going to gather all them up and put them in my little bag. I speak Aquan. I'm not there. Virgil's also going to look around. So I probably figure that Dunlum does too. Yeah, I was going to give it to Dunlum. Water creature. Yeah. Do, do we have any concerns about the fact that there's at least one person unaccounted I'll for? I'll do speak Aquan. That's funny. Sorry. Sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're fine. I like to think that Gunk said that out loud. As <laughs> I do speak awkward. I speak awkward. <laughs> good. Good. That's good. I, I do not. Uh, but I are we at all, And are we all concerned that, uh, you know, there's at least one person from this group running around and they had access to things like spell scrolls of command and old person just well he doesn't have him anymore so sure but maybe he has some others yeah but if he's not here it's not our problem right our job was to clear everyone out of the abbey so it's fair it's fair okay <laughs> Virgil will look back wistfully at the scythe and then walk out Sorry, I didn't give you yet another weapon. Oh, it's fine. I legitimately <laughs> am probably never switching off of my main weapons at this point. It's just that I enjoy having a character who is a pack horse of mm -hmm. weapons. No, it's good. Um, okay. Do you, Baz, what do you do? You... Uh, I, I come out of that room with the books and just kind of rubbing my eyes. Uh, I left all my bag and everything back in there. Uh, go back in and get it. Staff. And I come back out. Uh, you know, I was thinking all. Um, oh, by the way, Gunk, I think, or whoever can use maybe some thieves tools. Uh, there is a locked cabinet, a locked uh, dresser in that room. Cool. Is it um, trapped? Did you check for traps? Oh, I didn't. I was so enamored with the reading uh, at what temperature eyeballs boil and whatnot. Anyway. Um, it was grim and harrowing. It was grim. My, my bones vibrated. Um, so, yeah, let me do that real quick. I will check that. Is that a roll? Yeah, give me investigation. Right on. Investigation. It is a 19. 19. You are pretty positive that this desk is not trapped. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be trapped. Uh, you, all yours. Whatever you think you can do with it. Um, for the rest of you, I was, I, I, I'm a little worried that our invisible friend might make his way back to our boat. Um, what if I, you know, just leave my stuff here, but fly back to the boat real quick and just kind of let everyone know the situation. It was many miles, wasn't it? Yeah. It was like a small island. Yeah. It's not that far. I think it's that small. I think it was like a, <clears throat> I think I mean, it was like it a was... couple of hours on foot, at least. Mm -hmm. hours. Yeah. Any other way? Do we have a... Does anyone have a way? talk to a fish. If I could... I could talk to him. <laughs> if if someone else could then on the boat, that would be excellent, but I'm not sure they can. I'm just my whole thing is just animals. I can't really do anything. I get you. Anyone else can send a message or something or Nope. All right. Seven, I'm a seven and a half foot uh... tall centaur covered with weapons who wears silk pajamas. My existence is a message. Excellent. Um, I could okay. call lightning and make it strike the abbey in uh, like a code. Problem is, we haven't established a code, so they would code. Uh, right. Code is a good idea. I could send the fish to go to the boat and like swim in 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 shapes to make words. Just say like invisible man on way. Maybe Be careful. Just saying. If we uh, find a big enough fish. Except they don't know the code. 
Mm. Yeah, but like like words. Words are code everyone understands, right? Just I, language. I mean That's I what language is. I've seen our code that everyone understands. I'm not sure all of them can read. Um And I'm pretty sure at least half of them will eat the fish. Indeed. Not if it's a shock. <laughs> we Perhaps we do deal shock. with it then when we when we get back. I just really want to use my really cool new trident that I haven't been able to use yet. Aqua gunk. Yes. Fair. Okay, that's yeah, that's all I got. What'd you find in the desk? Oh, uh, I don't know. Oh, you got a twenty three. I'm paying attention. Yeah, yeah. You can't open no I'm kidding. Um Jesus. You uh, pop open the desk drawer, and inside the desk are two vials of. Uh, are you looking, Baz? Or are you just, or are you there too? Or I'm not there right now. Okay, I... uh, two vials of ink. Ooh. Um, you get a faintly copper smell from the vial, and um, amid the papers and dusty ledgers. There is a scroll of light and a scroll of bliss. Go off, Aya. See ya. Sorry, that's my sister. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah. Cool. I'll come back out with those. I'm guessing the coppery spell is blood probably but i'm not gonna tell baz that um yeah i found some nice ink and some scrolls here you go and i hand them over oh uh, thank you yes um baz you can tell by looking that these are th this is just very very rare ink that's worth a lot of money Ooh, how much money it could be a spell thing for me but uh, 25 gold pieces each Ooh. There's two of them, right? Yeah. Okay. And did you did you get the names of the spells? Light and bless, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can't do anything with those. This of we can spread it out a little if if someone else wants to use it. Yeah. You can't use those spells. I mean, I can use them, but. Oh. Yeah. I see. I can use a can lot use of light, spells. So. You already had light. I don't know. Yeah. I have this, and I make my little globular man start dancing ne oh, yeah. next to next to his ark. Yeah, yeah, you got a little light boy dancing next to a spider. It's a real right. rave. Um, I don't know. Yeah, perhaps uh, Ocean could use a bless spell. Ocean is in the kitchen still. Indeed. Give By it to the ocean. way, blue. where is Ocean? Hey, Blue. You done yet? Oh, what's wrong? I was collecting so much great things. I have gifts for all of you. I'm good. Great. I think we're ready to move on, right? There's a secret, secret door, passageway right? over yeah. here. Secret Ocean's like door. bag and pockets are just like bulging and there's like something seeping out of them oh. now. <laughs> Rip. Rip. Okay. <laughs> this one. What did you what did you find in the creepy room? Uh oh yes, good question. We, we found I bundle up what I found. Spell scrolls, this tome and a holy symbol. I that was it, right? Uh, what and what the kind of it was a lie. Oh, that's boring. What kind of spell scrolls? I didn't write it down. Then we lost it. He lost it forever. There's suddenly old, regular scrolls all the time. Old person in command. There you go. Oh. So you said that this room was, besides the, it's the meditation room, it was empty, but like Gunk had noticed some scratch marks. There was a mural on one wall, but the walls were like floor to ceiling curtained in like yeah. black velvet. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. No, uh, Virgil's 100% uh, tearing that down. Um, we are going to have backup horse pajamas. <laughs> Ooh, black velvet. Okay, you can oh, add uh, a peach. bunch of black velvet curtains to your inventory. And now, after all this has been torn down, you do indeed see a door that's just kind of slightly outlined in the stone. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. Do y'all want me to open it? I've had better well, luck with doors. Well, I could sh- check it first for traps. How about that? And then... Sure. Do it. Eleven. It's fine, I'm sure. It's fine, you're sure. Great. I'm Virgil so has, glad. Virgil has if there sword is out. anything... If there is anything inside, we could probably uh, use this door as a bottleneck. I am. I'm just. Yeah, I'm, we could I'm, use it as I a bottleneck. Funny there. Yeah. Good. Anyway. We'll use it as a bottleneck for sure. For sure. Go away. Uh, what have we become? <laughs> in our defense, you guys have done way worse than this before. This not lying. You're. You're not lying. Yeah. Um, okay. I can, also, I can also send Ms. Ark if we need to scout ahead. Ms. Just Ark saying. advanced scouting bottleneck. I remember seeing this before. It didn't go great. <laughs> no. We're all alive. And then we knock on the door. Yeah. No, no, we no, no, no. There's no, the point where it went wrong. There it is. <laughs> Found it. Found it, everyone. I think we've learned our lessons. I haven't learned any lessons. That's a shame. Th- th- there were lessons? Oh, God. Lessons. lessons. It worked out pretty well. I mean, we got one guy out. That's something. Go ahead and deploy the spider. Indeed. So Ms. Ark will crawl under the door or through the crack if they can. There is no crack. It is It is well sealed. Like, it's a hidden door. All right, fuck it. Let's just open the door, deal with whatever we find on the other side. All right. Yeah. Uh, Hold a firebolt. You open a door, but it's it's dark. I have Not like magical darkness, but yeah. I have dark vision. What's dark vision? 30 feet? 60 feet? I don't know. 60, yeah. Okay. Uh, So you open up a door, and you see those of you that have dark vision. A short tunnel widens into an unfurnished and undecorated 30-foot square chamber. Standing next to one another in the center of the room are two enormous skeletal guardians. Their heads feature prominent horns and each wields a massive rusted axe. Five like figures stand shoulder to shoulder guarding a door in the eastern wall. Their faces have been painted in gruesome colors. I shut the door. What's a gruesome color? Just like as an example. Green. Uh, it's a question. Mauve. <laughs> mauve. It's all mauve. Hey, mauve is a nice color. I know somebody said mauve. I just went with something <laughs> innocuous and with a vaguely funny sounding color name. Oh, wait, They're all chartreuse. It's mauve and puce and chartreuse. Those That's are nice color. colors. Colors are subjective, Lena. No, nope. it's just as as like ocean fact. slams the door and steps back. So is there another druid hanging out with lots of spiders? No. That's what happened the last time you did that. I found we found we found the undead. There's a lot of them. Dunlum. We find a lot of them. How many were there roughly? There are two uh, big minotaur skeletons. Two spe- it's five total, but two of them are specters. One is another creature whose name I don't recognize, but they're not large, and then big old miniature skeletons. <laughs> Minotaur skeletons. Perhaps we actually do the bottleneck this time, and we lure them through the door one at a time. Tanks in front, me and Gunk in back. We could take them. This is true. I could... Uh... I will say Get they their did... attention with this, and he lights up the sun sword. Or... When you oh, just opened the door and looked through it, they did not menace you. Sunblade. I always use the wrong word. Yes. They can't Maybe. say no to a sunblade. Maybe they're not going to attack us. I mean, Maybe they want to be our friends. Seem angry. Maybe. Yeah, because they're rotting, and they can tell that we're kindred spirits. Exactly what proportion of anyone that we've met who is a part of a cult, evil or otherwise, explicitly have ended up wanting to be our friends? Just that checking. one, Look. that one, the one that worshipped Loth. Yeah, him. That you fed to the crocodile. Get, 
That's his right. His entire desire for friendship was built on a lie. Yeah, that don't matter. We still got him out. He's still nice. And besides, look, yeah. my whole philosophy is don't attack first, right? So defend yourself. Yeah, kill whatever you have to to stay alive. But, you know, we can give these guys a chance. I just need to I just need to pause at this moment and go with your entire life philosophy is don't attack first, says the ranger with dread ambusher. Yeah. <laughs> um if if the court to be members fair, it's never worked. <laughs> Sorry. If the cult members were able to walk around down here, perhaps if we look like them or we can get through can anyone change what they look like that is actually a brilliant idea who is the head guy ozzy mendias uh That's one way to say it i look like him now do you also want Whoa. me to and i'm gonna just grab this pile of like rotting bread out of my pocket rub this all over you so you smell like them too absolutely not i'm good thanks blue i'm just what? trying to help what no, I pick? know. It was very generous. Okay. Well, I still have it in case you change your mind, and I'll stick it back okay. in my pocket. I will keep that in mind. Does it, everyone know what we looted from Ozium and I don't remember. I oh, remember no, I didn't the, write anything down. If he had the... No, I, I think I wrote everything down, but I don't know if it was emeralds or uh, a scroll or... The medallion? Mm, I don't know. I don't remember which. Do I remember? <laughs> Does Baz remember? Yeah, you would remember. What did I get from Um, You got the... Want to make sure I get it right. Um, he had the medallion on a chain around his neck. Okay. Uh, I, I give Gunk the medallion. This is useless uh, to me. I, I a Part just... of my costume is having the medallion because that's how I saw him. But also, I'm only a foot taller. <laughs> I okay. was naturally, so I'm like four foot tall. I'll keep the medallion then. That's fine. I, you have it's just like... Here, look, uh, I put it on and it goes straight through my body because it's like a an illusion. Oh, that's extremely disconcerting. So, like, exactly, and I take it off and hand it back again. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, I'll so, do, okay. so once again, just, just, just... You put it on, Andy? Ooh, Sorry. I should have. <laughs> Maybe I should have <laughs> looked for curses or something first. You die. No, I'm kidding. You're fine. Yay. Okay. We're just, just going to sort of hold up a hand as very briefly, is there's now, like, mini Ozymandias, um, Ozymandias, and, uh, the rest of the party's like, so, just to clarify, once again, we find ourselves on one side of a door, with presumably at least potentially hostile creatures on the other. We are going to disguise Gunk, and just try to sort of Talk to them. We're just gonna sort of go in there and talk to them. And try. Sounds Say we got first. new recruits. Yeah, sure, why not? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, okay. Let's talk to the skeletons. See if they wanna be our friends. What order are you going in? I guess me first. <laughs> please, you want somebody me to be a little in... closer to the front. Yes, to please. Scare them off if necessary. Yeah. Absolutely, please stay close to them. I'll be in the back. I'll go after Dunlum. If it's please, a, Dunlum. If it's come, a ten foot come. wide hallway, I'll be on the other sort of side of it, but in the please same come way. next to me. Thank you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Um, uh, okay. Ocean and the... I should switch sides. Does anyone remember what that guy sounded like? He sounded like this. I don't think that's right. <laughs> oh, it's I maybe not right. So. I've been working on workshopping voices, but. 
Um, so yeah, you walk in like that, uh-huh. and um, I need um, uh, I need Gunk, Dunlum, Ocean, and Baz, uh, not Baz, and uh, Virgil to roll initiative. <laughs> Fair. Wait, I have to clear initiative. Hold on. I didn't even click on my token. That was a problem. Joel's initiative is 13. <laughs> 20. Virtual was ready for this to go to shit. <laughs> Oh, no. Did everybody roll? Mm-hmm. I think everyone you specified to roll rolled. Uh, Do I not see Dunlum's not on Dunlum. Oh, because I, I, I accidentally didn't click on my thing. So click Hold your on. token and roll again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Please. It's almost... What I'll give you the 13 that you rolled because I'm nice. I don't know oh, that shit. it would make a difference no. anyway. Um, okay, so the four of you walk into the room and uh, this creature called a Bodak? Oh god, no. Oh my uh, gosh. gosh. He's I'm... going to attack. <laughs> no, <laughs> that's bad. <laughs> what level are we? I just put them against a 15 level party. Oh, wow. Wait, this what? is bad. This is bad. <laughs> we don't uh, love this bad. It just doesn't look good. I was going to say, now I feel like Virgil feels like this is bad. Is this just like, okay, that's a lot. Hi. Um, Hello. It's me. As Modi guy, uh, these are new recruits. Just bringing them down here to uh, introduce you, and now we're it's all good. Don't worry about it. But you guys should leave. Maybe get some fresh air. Um, you know, praise Orcus. Yeah, praise Orcus and and all that. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> uh huh. Orcus. Um okay. So I'm gonna need uh gunk. Yep. Make a yeah, also none of the creatures seem to react to your talking at all. Okay, cool. Make a constitution save. Oh, I'm bad at that. I'm very bad at that. I got a 15 though. <laughs> Good news is, is that saves. Oh, thank God. Uh, you take half damage. Mm-hmm. Oh. So half of 22, you take 11 points of necrotic damage. Okay. Things aren't going all that great. <laughs> uh, oh, hang on. That went bad. Yeah. I will yeah, I'll figure out how to do this yeah um it's not good i don't think they want to talk uh and now it's uh virgil's turn uh get him kill him <laughs> we gave him a chance kill <laughs> i'd like to put oh, a, still a little four foot tall Man- oh sorry continue kill him, Aussie Mandy- kill him! <laughs> it went bad <laughs> Um, Baz, you are not in turn order, so you can decide correct. to do something at any time. I feel like Virgil okay. would pause and be like, so, Baz, they're kind of grouped. Do you have something for this, or do I charge? Um, mm. Normally I do, but I don't now. <laughs> well. Side eyes. The door right there, we can just run. What are we wanting? Well, 
I'm gonna. That hurt real bad. <laughs> like real bad. <laughs> Uh, actually, let, if, if I can kind of go whenever, let me try something. I come into the room. Do I have to roll initiative now? Nope. Everybody's out of initiative order and they stand down. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah. When you fly into the room, they immediately go back to standing still and Is even it? move slightly away from the door. Is it because I have the real medallion? Prop, prop, prop. Ooh. Oh my gosh. I mean, that's what else is different about me? It and, could be oh. the mushrooms I gave you. It hey. could be. It's probably that They're shiny. They're scared of feathers. Though. Or, yeah, you're Ooh. covered in feathers and you that's can try. They're not used to feathers. They're not used to things covering them. And yeah, you have yeah. owl feet. Maybe they Do just they don't look... like birds. And you have a beak. <laughs> okay, yeah. well, there's a lot of things different, yes. Do, do they look afraid? of me or no. more just settle down and calm. Yep. That one. Ah, I think it's a medallion. That's wild. Okay. Good. We <laughs> didn't have to fight that. Virgil? I'm just fucking waiting for you. you like, because <laughs> here's the thing. It's also, it says for the undead creatures Yeah. that they harry you, like they will chase you and, and attack you until they're either dead, 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 or until you leave that area, which is considered compartment 11, and you hadn't entered. So, like, you that's why you were not in the fight. Oh, yeah. But also, okay. they're calmed by the by the medallion's presence. So you kind of just, you not entering at all, was kind of just like, well, you're not in play then. So. <laughs> okay, Virgil, do, do we want to just sidestep out of this room? Very sure. cautiously. How, how calm? How calm do they look? Do you think you can get them to do what you say? Uh, Offer them that's... some of this mold I found. Gentle undead, might you partake of some of my friend's mold? Fuck that noise! Gentle undead, axe, give. Uh, uh yes, give give that uh, the big one. Put your axe down. If you don't mind, and step back. Um, you know, this is important. Watch us fuck up this advantage and have to actually right. fight all the undead. <laughs> With the wizard yeah. up front now. <laughs> yeah, I'm staying um, here. Staying all the way back here, thanks. Um, they don't really seem to listen to you. They just kind of okay. are standing there, but not in your way. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna go. Just gonna go. They look rusty gonna... anyway. This doesn't feel yeah. like a thing. It's fine. Everybody it's... through. Okay, yeah, I'll go yeah. last. How about that. <laughs> oh no no! Okay. As Wait. Virgil's gonna be like everybody go through and then just like firmly put his hand on top of your head. <laughs> I wasn't talking about you. <laughs> I mean, this door is like unlocked. Dunlum opens it, but who knows? It is unlocked, and you open it, and nothing happens. And you stuff see... through. So here's the thing about this: not for any reason, of course. Um, I'm gonna need you to actually move your your player characters as you go, like one like as time. we would. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as you yes, would for want. So don't like take big twenty foot right. jumps and stuff like that. Yeah. No reason. Yeah, no reason. That's perfectly fine. Virgil's gonna walk over and like actually legitimately like just pick up Baz and back out of the room holding him <laughs> up like the medallion. <laughs> yep. Like we got, we've got no problems. We've got no problems here. Everybody look at the bird wearing the bling. It's fine. You like him, apparently. But ba do We're fine. We're fine. Yep. Okay. We're good. We're good. They don't follow you. Shut the door. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm now Drop. looking at these hallways. So I feel yeah, like, not for any not reason, but I want to make some investigation checks. I feel like <laughs> Virgil's going to turn around. Oh, good. This got better. <clears throat> I think Gunk has the highest passive perception at 17, right? 
Yeah, I'm so a normal one twelve. Equal with me, but yeah. 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 Oh, oh, okay, oh cool. sorry. We have... your, yours, yours will be more uh, than mine because expertise or whatever. But um, this is not concentration either. So I'm just stuck as this dude now. <laughs> I can't drop it. I think you can drop it, even <laughs> if it's not concentration. Uh, nope. DM rules. No, you can't. Uh, okay, that, that that they are Ozymandias. <laughs> That's that's no that's Ozymandias. a rule in D D. If 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 a spell is not concentration, you okay, can't just ninjas. drop it. Huh. Um. Okay. You can also so, use your action to dismiss it. It's it's written in the. Oh, you're okay, gonna cool. need to tell me what what and where no, you're investigating, basically. basically. So Baz rolled an investigation check. Uh, he's looking for traps. Uh, he'll kind of go into this middle area here just sort of around him anything immediate stick out uh i will say because you rolled a 24 investigation that you notice um right over here uh oh. it looks like there is a trip wire i point that out to gunk just to gunk to go about it just, yeah. just don't, I, I don't touch it. it Too well, gunk. Time to go. Wait, everyone oh, says wait, it wait, this wait, way. Wait. I didn't do it secretly to gunk. I said, look, <laughs> look, gunk, there's a tripwire. So all oh, of so it's not that you're trying to hide things from us, you're just being rude and excluding us. <laughs> no, I, I'm wanting gunk to do something about it. <laughs> you can't dismantle a tripwire without setting it off. What do you expect me to be able to do? Like some sort of complex weight distribution switch thing? I don't, just perhaps, step over it. Perhaps. Why don't you take a look at it? It's like this far around. Just step over it. Okay. Then I point it out to everyone. I just want to say that you absolutely can make a dexterity check to dismantle a tripwire. I want to. I just want to take the easy way to step over it. And Lum's foot is hovering like an inch from the wire. Oh. What are we doing? Yeah, we're stepping <laughs> over. This is, this is you guys is leading wild. me along. Baz is not going first. So if you want to try to dismantle it or run around it, it's up to you. How tall is it? Like, how far is it off the ground? It's, it's trip level. Yeah, it's so like. It's, yeah, it's low. also, I'd like to point out that trip level for Virgil is like mm, waist level for Gunk. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, I think trip level is the same for anybody, right? Like, if anybody walks into something that's like three inches up, three inches off the ground, you're gonna trip. My well, stride you easily trip take me over three inches. Just step over it. We'll be fine. Well, it seems to only be in that five foot square, right? Or does it span the whole? No, it's across the whole thing. Across the whole across thing. the hallway, yeah. So, quick note. Yes. Ocean, you what? sensed other undead. One set yes. of them was probably where we just came from. The other it set was over, like and I'll gesture in the direction that it seems like they would have been. So, that's a thing. Second, where are we going in here? Is there any reason to go? Feels like there's a lot of hallways. Any reason to go one yeah. way Good versus question. another? What are we doing? Oh, really? I don't know. I, uh, I think we're just clearing stuff out, right? Do I? But we just left all those undead alive. Are we clearing oh, stuff no, out? Oh, no, no. I mean valuables, not enemies. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Do, do I get a sense of, like, I don't know, sound, movement, light, anything in any direction versus another? You can make a perception check. Seven. You don't. It's a dank, dank, dark tunnel system. Shouldn't we go the way that the trap is? Because clearly that's the way that they don't want us to go. Yeah, I like that thinking. It's a fair, fair enough. So are we just stepping over this? Or... Yes. 
You four first. Cool. I guess I'm gonna step over the tripwire. I'm gonna just back up with Ms. Ark over here. As you do, I'm just gonna sort of grab you by the head. Bump. <laughs> On my back. Fair enough. Step over the stepping over. I'm not gonna make you roll to I'll step over that. a tripwire. <laughs> But you all like... have to be able to fit. You can't share a space, you know, so. Yeah. Ocean! <laughs> I'm gonna need you. Dunlum! Oh, sure. Yeah. I'm gonna need both of you to, um, let's see. Um, oh. <laughs> you don't make any save. You just fall into a spiked pit trap. Ooh. Basically, once you guys both step onto there, it is actually a wooden trap door, and it opens, and you... Take... I am a lot of weight, believe can it or I not. grab Ocean? I'm right behind her. You can make a dexterity save to try and and, uh, and grab onto her. I'm not... I'm pretty good at it. Oh, That's a nat, nat 20. 20. That is a nat 20. Um... How much of you is grabbing onto her? Is it just glove or is it like that kind of like arm grab where she, uh, be she weighs poisoned? considerably more than me, so I, it will have to be full considerably. Grab. So she is going to be poisoned, right? It, it, she'll stop being poisoned once I let go of her. So it's, okay, okay. It's fine. Um, so yeah, okay, I, grab I will say with a nat twenty that as they both fall, you catch, uh, you catch her. Wow. But Dunlum, you take. I'm so sorry, Dunlum. As 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 I see this, I'm also just gonna. Fine, you're not gonna catch a rock. Sorry, what were you gonna do, Galway? As this is happening, like we can resolve whatever we need to, but like I'll like step forward, pull out like one of the towels that Gunk has previously given me, and sort of grab Gunk slash Ozzy Minidus around the middle and just sort of like brace them. <laughs> Uh, yep, yeah, sounds good. Okay, you take four bludgeoning damage. Oh, and... Right. I was like, that's not how spikes work. <laughs> Six piercing damage. Oh, that's how spikes Ooh. work. Bludgeoning hey. from the fall and piercing but, from the yeah. spike. Sorry, Dunlum. Ow! Sorry. You just... I couldn't... You're too heavy, I'm sorry. Can we... Dun, uh, Verge, can you pull... Back it up. And I'm trying Careful to... Careful to black the trip one. <laughs> yeah, back and back over. <laughs> uh, I'm going to move these... Uh, uh, the traps that you've hit onto the um, token layer so you can see uh -huh. where they are. Perfect. Uh, so the Dunlum falls into the pit, gets, you know, like gets a leg impaled or something, and looks up and doesn't see them there. They've abandoned him. They've abandoned their boy. All right, clip uh, clop back over. Clip clop back over. How 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 we doing, Dunlum? Oh, so this is a ten foot deep trap. It has long wooden spikes affixed to the bottom. Can make a sling out of those. Uh, I, have we got your horse sling? Uh, you could also just make a strength or a, a athletics check for me. I was if I can get was that me or other people? To, Sorry, to Dunlum, place. yes. I was, I was going to oh, just okay. throw a rope down. and Oh, that yeah, could okay. I had asked for a rope. But yeah, oh, yeah, so yeah. then you can make can an athletics check climb. at advantage while using a rope. Sure, yeah, that'll work. And with Virgil helping to pull you. Yeah, yeah you're All fine. Right. You are yeah, able to, to get out, out of the, the pit. Clop over the tripwire again. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's making sure to follow the tripwire, right? Nobody is, uh... Yeah. You did see, though, that as you went over to that area, that there was a three-point hallway it continued going forward, and it continued going right and left. This place is so much fun. Yeah, this is great. So, so quick this question. Great. Um, Evil cultists were kind of a new thing, theoretically. The pirates never even stayed here. What the hell was in this abbey that there are this many traps? 
Wasn't there like, like evil curious. clerics or something first? I thought they took over. I assumed that that was like Ozymandias' group. No, I, I think they came in after, right? I think it was evil clerics, then pirates, then... Well, but but then Ozymandias, is, Ozymandias made reference to like beating the pirates. But like oh, yeah. having been weakened by the pirates, I thought. So I assumed they right, were all... So maybe... They were the same people. Maybe then, it was I a guess. resurgence of the <clears throat> of the first evil cleric slash cultists right, coming back right. to reclaim from the pirates. Well, I think they they were just exactly. like what had been left over. I don't know. All right, so but I'm just saying. Yeah, you, you weren't given too much. This feels like a lot of traps for just an abbey. Yeah, I don't know sure, about you sure. all. I don't assume. Oh, going to pop down to the local abbey. Remember, don't step on any of the orange-colored floor tiles because they're instant death. I'm gonna walk up to. I don't know. Abbeys get pretty boring after a while. <laughs> you gotta, gotta spend your time somehow. Yeah, I've never been back. to an abbey before, so this could be perfectly normal for all I know. Where are you going, Andy? I'll go up to the back of Virgil uh, and just go, uh, steady me, friend. Uh, and my eyes go white. Um, and I'm looking through Ms. Ark, who's climbing along the ceiling now. Uh, and she's just going to do a total once over looking in each of these hallways. If she can find traps, awesome. Do spiders but, have dark vision? Uh, yeah, I believe I think so. so. You'd be surprised. Cats don't have dark vision, yeah. so in D and D, in real life, they do. Yeah, dark vision, thirty feet. Yep. Thirty feet. Okay. Um. Uh, okay. Well, does your does Ms. Ark have sight? I don't think so. Let me adjust her shit. I yeah, I can't see through Ms. Ark. Let's see. Vision on. Night vision on. Night vision distance. Virgil, is he doing the thing again? Just going to sort of oh. hold up the very limp body. E e yeah. Yeah. Yep. Doing. And we've got a stick. Um. Watch out so he doesn't swallow the tongue. <laughs> I just sort of pop the stick in there, close the beak I don't over. know. <laughs> I don't know either. Let's see. Does she show light now? No. Oh, wow. What? Why is it directional? That's stupid and I hate it. Hey, hey you stop moving her because I'm trying to figure her out. Sorry. It's okay. Um, why is it just giving me a tiny little cone? Is it because I did limit field of vision? There we go. Yeah. Okay. So. Um... I'm, I'm going to make you roll perception checks for every area. Sure. Okay. So over here, give me a perception check. That's a nat one. This area looks clear. Okay. Mm -hmm. You do see a door at the end over here. Okay. I'm just going to uh, say you've rolled four dice, had two ones. Don't like. <laughs> I don't like. Did you just roll a second time? Yeah, just for next. Whatever's next. Oh, okay. Which way do you want to go next? Uh, across the hall, I think. Uh, over this way? Yeah. Uh, you see two doors here in the Lovely. corner. Losing their religion. <laughs> um, Down the hall then this way. Uh, you go in here and you see a gap. Oh, sorry. I'll 13. wait. You, you'll see this regardless because it's large. Gotcha. You see a ghast. Oh. And you okay. see a, a jade statue, a large jade statue. Ooh. In the middle of the room. <laughs> uh, well, it's a statue. Hold on. I can read it. I just need to see which room it is to read the right thing. Also, 100% anything that you're relaying, Baz, like, you know, as your senses yeah. or somewhere else, is just going <laughs> with the stick that is firmly wedged in there. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Hello. The, the, uh, chests, urns, and a large stone strong box stand in alcoves set in uniformly along this chamber's walls. Some chests are open, and you see jewelry co and coins spilling out. Colored flashes of light sparkle with the promise of gems and jewels. In the center of the room is a green stone statue of a beautiful elf. Oh, beautiful elf. Okay. And then there is a... Like traps from top to bottom. Not at all. Door here. Definitely not trapped. What are you talking and a door about? there. This is fine. And with a 13, yeah, I didn't see any traps or anything. Nah. nah. All right. Um, I'll have Ms. Ark kind of hang out on the wall over here. And oh. relay that, uh, pop back into my body. Ah, ah, why do I have a stick in my mouth? I need that back. Tree uh, okay. Useful. Thank you. That's sure your thing. seizure stick. I, oh, that, that's not a bro. seizure. Not conserve your stick so don't go on tree. Wait. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> uh, so hopefully everyone heard that. Uh, I, I said just we go through the trap somehow, uh, the 10 foot trap here. And uh, fight the gas yes, on the other to, side. But just to be sure, oh, could you repeat, just so we're sure what you said? Oh, sure. Okay. So over uh, to the right is a uh, is a door. Uh, over to the left are a couple doors. Uh, the, and the this hallway. hallway yeah. yeah, the hallway seems to kind of go up this way. Um, and then down here is a, a, a jade statue and a and a and a, a monster. A ghast. So, oh, perhaps I go first. And do, do I think? How could like we get around this? Because I know like there was a pitfall. Only it's a it's a six by six foot. So we it's can ten foot. We can work around the six. edges pretty easily. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. So at yeah. this, I'm like, if you see the little like dotted line, that's mm -hmm. kind yeah. of the space it takes up. I'm around just not going to be able to there. move my token. To, yeah, yeah, to yeah. But hit. you can tell me that you're kind yeah. of like you know sliding around it. So I'm, I'm just okay. going to sort of reach back. Or actually, I'm still holding uh, Baz. Like, all right, <laughs> forward. Who? Yeah. Cool. Fair enough. So, uh, Baz, you're in front of me by a square now, and I'm just sort of marching Wait. you forward like a. Uh... Wait. <laughs> what? Wait. Why are we Oops. fighting the guest? We're not fighting think... it. That's why we're sending Baz in front with a medallion, so it'll just shut up, and then we'll take all the treasure and leave. Oh, yeah, I forgot the medallion does that. Okay, yeah. sounds good. I mean, no Dope. guarantee it works, just FYI. There's a chance, instead of using Baz to cause it to, you know, not attack us, I'm going to use Baz to attack it. <laughs> Smack it. Fair enough. Onward, friend. So I'm going to sort of edge around the right side of the gap. And just, so I'm going to get to this corner, still holding Baz up. Yep. And then you I'm just right marching forward. Uh, okay, we should be right around this corner. I'll look around the corner and kind of go, huh? Does he seem <laughs> aggressive? Just... Stares at you with his big old tongue medallion. hanging out. Just I have, uh, okay. Uh, I have the medallion. How's it, how's it going? Uh, Seems like it's working. It's, it's going. Yeah, it's going well. Yeah, awesome. I think we're I think we're good. Uh, um, so friends, uh, jade <laughs> statue, uh, chest, strong box. Excellent. Good. 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 Excellent. I'm just gonna do a quick look around from where I am with uh, traps. Yeah. Is it okay to touch the statue? 26. 26. You look around, you don't see anything appears to be trapped. Okay, okay. You don't see Good. any weird things sticking out or, yeah. How big I'm... is the statue? I mean, it's pretty big. It's uh, not quite, it's, you know, it's larger than a normal size thing. It's larger than a normal size thing, you know. Yeah. Oh, okay. The normal Th things. That's yeah. up there with the first yeah. time I played D and D, and Andy and I asked Andy how fast uh, some animated trees were moving. He went normal speed, like trees. <laughs> <laughs> so and not. I I don't well, I zero. don't know what this means. Years later, go always like oh thirty feet. I get it. Yeah, it's larger than the statue, the life size statues that you saw in the other room. Size. It's not quite double the size, but it is larger. Awesome jumbo jade statue it's the size of that star that represents the statue okay how are we gonna get this out of here 
Uh... Well, the last, just as a note, one of the last two statues that we came across had like a trick base to it. Does there seem to be anything with this? I'm still just sort of holding uh, yeah. Baz towards the ghast. Yeah, I'm like a nice rhythm. All right, someone check so, that out. Last I'm gonna time, just, I just yeah, last time I pushed the statue stuff. and like a compartment popped out. That's true. You, you should Get probably try that this time, yep, too. Yep, that's, that's what happened. Yep. Definitely what happened. That's exactly what happened. I go over to the cabinet and just scoop everything into my bag of holding, just like... Over to where, like, the jewels and stuff are? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah defo, you're gonna roll initiative now. Ah! Suddenly, as you look over at the vampiric jade statue, its face becomes a dreadful <gasps> fanged mask. Uh, uh, and it begins to attack uh, the medallion. No! Medallion. Medallion. The, medallion. The, ga the guest still seems calm. Gas, but a uh, new intruder, kill it. I need to like reset our shit again. But we're also gonna go to break. So how about we roll initiative when we get back? I am just yeah. I am just fully I am just like waving Baz back and forth between the two. <laughs> solve it, solve it, solve it. God damn it. Yeah. The gas right. theme is fine, but the vampiric jade statue, uh, oh let me bring it to 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 life. Hold on. Oh uh, <laughs> The vampiric oh, jade lovely. statue. Uh, <laughs> a real good so picture of it. <laughs> yeah, real good, huh? So lifelike. Uh, as Gunk shuffles things into their bag, uh, the vampiric <laughs> statue uh, comes to life. Nice. We can roll now if you want to. We can just fucking do it. Sure. I, sure. sure. And then sense. we'll take a break and do the thing. Take a break and do the thing. With a nat 20 initiative, do I do get a significant amount of jewels and stuff in my bag before the fight starts? Five. Cool. I'm distracted by uh, waving yes. bads back yes. and forth between the two. Yes. Jewels. <laughs> Coins. Shiny. Oh, okay. Did everybody roll? I'm missing... Nobody. Miss Ark. Oh. oh, yes. Miss Ark. Thank you. Thank you. As, as I now think of familiars as just being hawks giving characters the finger. Yeah. That, was, five. that five initiative sort of gave us the finger along with me. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah, who, Ms. Ark, who goes first, Ms. Ark or Virgil? I think Ms. Ark is a two dexterity. I think rules as written in the yeah. DMG, and I don't remember if players are tied, the players can decide. Can decide. Who, which order it goes in. Oh, but then if it's player and, and a, if it's the, player and, a, and DM, yeah. the DM decides which goes first. That makes sense. And DM so yeah, we'll have our first. lovely vampiric jade statue battle. Yes. That happened from your greed. Uh, when our green, I was, was going to say, sorry, I like that this also came immediately on the 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 heels of Gunk being like, how do we get this out of here? Never mind, right. I'm just going to go take care of the. It starts moving. Well, might have figured Fuck. out how to move it. <laughs> now we just got to lead it out of the abbey and into Come the on. boat, and and it's all fine. It's going to be like a weeping angel. It'll just keep following. Oh God. Me. Mm. So scary. Oh. Mm. All right. We will be back in 10, 15 minutes, everybody. Yeah. Honk, honk. 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 Honk, honk.
I okay. legitimately almost put a fucking chip in my mouth. I was like, hey, this is fine. Oh, wait, it's me. You just warned me. Hi. I did a countdown. And I was like, countdown to my chip going in my mouth. Anywho, hello and welcome back. Hi. Our lovely party, or, uh, oh, I mean, uh, Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. Hong Kong. <laughs> Uh, our lovely party came into Hong a room Kong. with a vampiric jade statue that looked just like a regular jade statue. And it was all fine until uh, Gunky McGreederson <laughs> shoved some jewels into their uh, into their bag. And uh, the statue's face morphed into a horrible visage of fangs and anger. The ghast is still cool, though. I was like, all right, if you guys need a fight, I guess. I'm just going to be over here with my tongue out, if that's all right. I just picture um, Gast raise his eyebrow. Mm. Yeah, pretty much. Nah. Um... <laughs> Sorry, I and just he... saw Chelsea's hink honk in the chat. Nice. And it made me laugh. Um, Cool. So, we are in initiative order, and it is... The uh, gunk themselves. The could, could titular we, gunk. Um, the titular gunk. Request the <laughs> battle music. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I always remember to do this because I'm so uh, smart. Top of the line. Sneaky adventure is very riveting, guys. <laughs> Jetta. Um, hmm. where's my battle music? This one. Why can't I hear anything? This is the same thing that happened last time. Uh, please let That's, me know if it's too loud for people. Because it's at full volume, but it was weird. It's good. Yeah. It's good for me. Um, oh, I can move an extra 10 feet in the first round. I always forget about that. 10, 25, 35. Okay. I'm going to go over there. Going, scooting around. But around um, it, not, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and just be like, well, <laughs> I did get a significant amount of jewels, so I'm happy. We should leave now, huh? Like, we should just <laughs> leave. Yeah, there's sounds another, good to everyone. There's another door and a ghast. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, this thing looks pretty, pretty bad. Uh, I'm going to shoot it with my longbow, if I may. Whew. I'm guessing 11 doesn't hit. And 11 does not hit. Cool. Um, my second shot. Is it, oh, does a 17 hit? 17 hits? Yes! Okay, this is the the shot where I get the extra damage. Um, that's never hit before, so I don't know how it works. <laughs> a, uh, an extra 1d8. Of what type of damage? Piercing? Of piercing of the same damage, yeah. Okay. So six. Okay, and so that's an eleven total piercing damage. Yes, and I'm assuming it's going to be halved because it's a statue. Um, and I'm assuming it also can't be poisoned, but I'm going to try. Can it be poisoned? You or can certainly poison try. Damage? Yeah, I'll. And I'll, it is not halved. It does not appear. Um, like the the piercing damage seems like it takes full effect. Oh, if it was wait. just a regular jade statue, then it would be <laughs> but it's vampiric yeah. jade. Um, I'm going to turn the music soft. down slightly because it's too it's loud a soft for me. Jade. So, um, and then it, if if it can take poison damage, it take, it does the DC 12 con save. It does not seem to affect it at all. Yeah, I didn't think so. And now my last shot for the first round because I got three. 25. 25 hits. Nine piercing damage. Woo. It looks real, but no, it's fine. Uh, yeah, uh, I expect it to be perfectly fine. <laughs> um, it is going to... Well, so now it's going to be Baz's turn, but it is going to take one of its legendary actions. Oh, no! And it She's is going to... Um, oh. I just... I have to... Uh, my sister locked herself out. I will be back in just a second. Oh, yeah. No worries. <laughs> Whoops a daisy. Um 
It is going to move in here. Oh, wait, no, it can't move on its legendary action. Well, actually, it can. <laughs> can it? It actually can. Is um, one of its legendary actions to move? It is, <laughs> okay. but it can only do one at a time, so I okay. don't know if I want to, like, waste a legendary action to just move it. Yeah. Uh, it's not going to do a legendary action, actually. It's Bass's turn. What legendary actions? No legendary actions. It's fine. Kill it, kill it, kill it! Uh, but, uh, Virgil, put me down. Um, <laughs> and <laughs> get bigger, friend. Come, Ms. Ark. We shall away. <laughs> okay. Do we have uh, big ol' Big ol' Virgil. Big ol' Virgil. Arr. Uh... <laughs> I would and like to right. expand backwards so that it was so that sure. I did not come into range with it. <laughs> All right. Now it is the Van Beric Jade statue's turn. I don't want that. And it is going to run up here. I haven't taken any of your loot yet. Guess what it's going to do to you, Virgil? <laughs> it's going to bite you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to bite you. <laughs> Rolls an eight. No. <laughs> my, the bite attack is so cool. My finely honed defenses against being bitten. Virgil's just like. No. <laughs> Bullshit. And then it's going to do two claw attacks. One on Virgil and one on Dunlum. Virgil does a 21 hit. Sure does. Where the hell is my character sheet? You take 12 slashing damage. And then, um, uh, bu -bu 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 Dunlum, I'm guessing an eight again also I, doesn't hit you. I was sorry, I was trying to press Weirdly, it. Uh, did you want to take your reaction for reducing damage, Lena? Can't hear you, Lena. We can't hear you. I forgot you were next to me. Oh. <laughs> I'm I'm next to like all of you. <laughs> three, you get three less. So it was eleven damage. It was twelve total. Well, so, so then nine. so nine. Uh, and then whoop do. Uh, sorry, I'm just reading through the things. Yeah, that's its turn. Okay, Done. no, no bites, no. <laughs> No. Maybe <laughs> our mom's going to point behind it and say, Look out! And he's going to cast Shatter. Oh. Come on, do the thing away. He's Shatter. going to cast it in the middle of the room. Sorry, let's like it to the corner. So it just hits the statue? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then in the description of Shatter, where yeah. go? Uh, a creature made of inorganic materials such as stone, crystal, or metal has disadvantage on the same throw. Oh, okay. Um, This is thunder damage? Yes. Where did I forget that there was also... I thought there was lightning damage and force damage, but there's also thunder damage? Yes, which should actually be sonic damage, because that's yeah. what it is. It's anything that it's produces sound, sound is right. thunder. Okay, so I get disadvantage on my save? Yes. 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 So what inorganic. save? Uh, sorry, a constitution. I rolled a... Wonderful 16. Thing. That succeeds. Yeah, I rolled a 16 okay. and a 17, so... Nice. I wasn't going to say, I wonder if a thing made of literal rock has a high con font. Yeah. <laughs> Do so I... Half, I think. Oh, it takes half? Does it Wait, say that? Thunder. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Half, oh, yeah, half, half, half as much on a successful. Yeah. yeah, there's so much to read. So I was just... Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, it takes six damage. Nice. Expectations have been shattered. <laughs> um, Is that your turn? Yeah, I don't really want to move from the spot. Okay, legendary action. It will try to bite you. Which you... You, me, Dunlum. Me? Okay. Because you just shattered it. 
But it rolls a nine. Yeah. Real good at these rolls. Yeah, that hit. <laughs> I feel a like spider. as it goes in, Virgil is like attempting to, with his offhand, like wedge the stick from Baz in it. Like, stop it. Stop it. Nope. Ms. Art. Uh, I'm just going to be on my shoulder. I don't think she's going nowhere. Okay. That's true. Uh, Virgil. Okay. Oh, wait. Right. After Ms. Art's turn, she's going to try and bite Virgil. Uh oh. No, motherfucker! Jeez. 23! That'll hit. So it is only 10 piercing damage. But you are now cursed by the statue. Oh no. The curse only lasts for 10 minutes. While you are cursed, the statue has advantage on all attacks against you. <laughs> I'm a barbarian. Yeah. So, okay, yeah. so the downside of reckless attack is gone. Fine. Right. Yeah. Right. Crick, yeah. crick. <laughs> uh, and that is their second legendary action. Cool. Uh, so my turn now? Uh, yes. Rage. Uh, the tail is going to form and you're just going to hear of skelf ears. Um, nice. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba. recklessly attacking because why the fuck not? Gonna wave jauntily at the uh, ghast in the corner who's just like. <laughs> um, actually, and... is Baz in view of the ghast anymore? I think so. It should be. I didn't go center to center. Yeah. Okay. I didn't go. Okay. Barely. You're still, yeah, but yes. you're still barely there. You're correct. Okay. I'll allow it. Uh, so, recklessly attacking. Uh, great weapon mastery, great sword attack. 14. Um, a 14 just hits. It would have been a 20, right? Because you were recklessly attacking. Oh, right. Sorry. 20. Yeah. Uh, 23 slashing damage. Yeah, weirdly enough, none of its, like, Im immunities or other things are... You would think that it would be to these kinds of things, but it's not. You're, you're also enlarged, so... Oh, right. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. Good catch. So, oh, yeah. 25 slash... You want that enlarged beat for nothing. Cool. Yeah. Uh, second attack. It's looking real angry. Great weapon yeah. mastery. Yes. 21. It hits for twenty-eight. Oof. Looking fucked up. No bites. No <laughs> bites. <laughs> it's gonna take its final legendary action on this turn to try and bite Dunlum again. Yay! Acceptable. Sorry. <laughs> I rolled a nat fucking 20. No, that doesn't hit. For a total of 26, which is 14 piercing damage, and you are also cursed. Sorry, it was 14 piercing damage? 14 piercing, yeah. 14 and cursed. I'm also going to Wrath of the Storm it, because why not? Sure. Yeah. The thing, the thing. <laughs> 12. Nice. It does a deck save while I figure out what my new health is. If it makes you feel any better, Lena, I also don't know why Matt just said engorged and turgid, so. Oh, good. Okay. Wait, what? So there is no context. <laughs> no, there is, because... Oh, because maybe because Virgil's enlarged. Yeah, Virgil's enlarged. Not engorged. Well, <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to be the judge of that. Anywho, how much damage okay, do I take? We're like PG-13 uh, or R-rated or it's, something. It's 12 on a fail or 6 on a success. Uh, and it's a deck I guess save? I guess it choose. I'll do thunder as well. It is, I don't think it did anything. Yes, deck save. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry. Um, I rolled a 13, but I am going to use a legendary action to or a legendary resistance to save. Jesus Christ! Yeah, this is a crazy creature. We're uh, gonna so hack I take this thing into pieces and stuff it in the bag of holding. <laughs> yeah. 
it's already looking pretty like you hacked it up real fucking good with those you got like yeah. well over 50 damage in that one Fuck. one attack or two attacks that you did um okay it is ocean's turn cool i'm gonna move in nope because i'm on the roller I'm gonna move in. There's no way to position myself where I'm standing next to Dunlim and what's his face, Virgil. Who looks more hurt? Uh, Virgil. Uh, might be Dunlim because Dunlim like, got crit. Like one four fish. Oh yeah, no, it's 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 uh it's it's Dunlim. Okay, I'm gonna move over here and move in. Um, and I'm gonna cast Divine Favor on myself. And then I'm gonna roll an attack with my Warhammer. Does a natural one hit? <laughs> no, it does not. <laughs> oh, no. You have the worst luck <laughs> as Ocean. Second attack. But a 24 probably hits. Yes, the 24 hits. So that's six bludgeoning damage and one radiant damage. Let me double check something. Wait, what kind of damage did you do with the last, with the thing you just did, Joel? Thunder. Uh, the thing thunder I just damage. did, thunder, which is the same as the shatter. Okay, okay. Okay, so that's set minus seven total. There's a lot of weird different things on its stats, so I'm trying to mm -hmm. keep track of all of them. Okay, back to the top of the round with Gunk. Me. Uh, I'm going to... Okay, so we're not running. We're, we're fighting. Okay. Uh... <laughs> we are, get... at least. <laughs> Being burned. Well... You're blocking the way out, so I'm guessing I'm fighting too. Um, and I shoot him. Them. 17? You assume hits? I'm just gonna say yes. Yeah. <laughs> I clicked. There we go. 8 Pearson. And, uh, hmm. Actually, I have spells. I'm a ranger. I'm gonna... I forgot that I have spells. I'm gonna cast Ensnaring Strike. Um, I also have other stuff that I always forget about. Nine! I'm guessing doesn't hit. Nope. Damn it. What's... Favored Foe again? I haven't done that in so long. Extra damage. I uh, yeah. That would have been good, huh? Oh, well. That's the end of my turn. <laughs> Baz! Throwing a firebolt his way. Twelve does not hit. Alas. It's me. <laughs> All right. Okay. It is back to the vampiric jade statue's turn. And okay. it is going to attempt to bite Ocean. Bring it on, bitch. Um, I was calling it a bitch, not you. I I realized yeah. this. Okay. Galway said the same thing, and I wasn't yeah, just thinking Galway suddenly like shifted to being like, you bitch, Rachel. <laughs> like, <laughs> good. Uh, also, if you called me that in the heat of battle, I wouldn't be upset. So, you know. Um, a 21 to hit. Okay, fine. That hits. Uh, 13 piercing and you are cursed. And what does being cursed do? Uh, as far as you know, it means I have an advantage on attacks against you. <laughs> okay, cool. Not at all on this. Um, and it is going to slash once at Dunlum and once at Virgil with its claws, both with at advantage. Claws. Okay, I said... Uh, I think I said Virgil first, so does a 17 hit? Uh, yes, but no. I'll use my reaction to do the tail 
bump to my AC. My armor class is 17, so I can't right. roll under that. <laughs> sure, sure. Okay, so then it doesn't hit. But does a 25 hit, Donlum? Yes. Okay, you yes, take 11 does. slashing damage. I'm going to do my fancy, which apparently oh, I forgot I also add my bonus mm. to my proficiency to, so that's 8. Oh. You get it reduced nice. by 8. So you only take three? 3 slashing damage. That's good. I don't and think I'll Wrath of the Storm it this time. And it, it you, you already had your reaction anyway, right? Yeah, I think, well... Yeah, because next, next is my turn. Never mind. Yeah, I couldn't have done that. And it is your turn. Speaking of which... Smack it, smack it, smack it. <laughs> hmm. Okay, Dunlum's gonna take the hilt of the sun blade. Yes, that's what it's called. I said it right this time. Use a bonus action to activate it and slash. My brain heard you say a bonus attack action. And I was like, what is that? <laughs> Yes, a bonus attack. A bonus attack. It's an action attack. An action attack. Yes. 23. Spite, spite, a 23 spite. hits. Yeah. Oh. That's minimum. Strength, six. Okay. And I'm assuming it's not undead, so it's it's a statue. No. It's just a vampiric uh, statue that curses people. This feels yes, like this it, would have been a case for in later design to have been an undead statue or an undead this construct. Is a construct. <laughs> uh, okay, the end of your turn. It is going to take a legendary action to use its feature called Blood Reaper. <gasps> that doesn't seem good. Uh, I have plenty it of sounds blood to worse reap. than it is. <laughs> it sounds real all, bad. All creatures currently cursed by the statue and within 20 feet of it take five necrotic damage. Oof. Okay. Thanks. So, okay. Ocean, Virgil, and Dunlum take five necrotic damage. Okay, for something that sounded like the final ability of an anime boss, right? that was... I know, I was like, it's not even take that five damage and heal itself or anything, because it's a vampiric fucking statue. No, it's just take five damage. They could have not told us that and healed it that much. But they could have. Oh, that would have been smart. Anyway, it's Mizark's turn. Staying on my shoulder. Okay, it's going to take so its other glad legendary she's in action. initiative order. <laughs> I was contemplating she could have done stuff, but then I wouldn't have had Virgil be big, and I want Virgil big. You so, could have pocket dimensioned her. I'm going to Blood Reaper again. Oh, yeah. And Ocean, Dunlum, and Virgil are going to take five points of necrotic damage. Oh, boy. And now it's Virgil's turn. Okay. No. Uh, reckless attacking. And... Anything else that I want here? I don't think so. Great weapon mastery. Eight. Oh, I saw that net one and I was like, whoo, yeah, nope, then eight misses. And great weapon mastery again. 12. Jesus. 12 misses. Wait. That's only a plus two? Because great weapon master, you get yes, it, it reduces. That, 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 and that is that is accurate. Yeah. That is more accurate. damage, but reduces I, from your hit. I, I, I was I was thinking something might have been in wrong, but I did have the uh Ion Stone on. I wanted to make sure that it still had it on the because I do. Gotcha, gotcha. Cool. Uh yeah, so at the end of your turn, it's gonna take its third legendary action and it's gonna use Blood Reaper. And the three Dunlum of you is now unconscious. To take five necrotic damage. Yikes, really? Yeah, this is I why I was trying to. Up. I was yeah, trying to bite everybody because I wanted to was... use Blood Reaper so bad. <sighs> okay, so Dunlum is down. I was wondering down. why you didn't just go for the people you had advantage on, and now it makes yeah, sense. No. I wanted to curse multiple people so that I could Blood Reap them. Ah. Okay. Um, yeah, wow, this Abby is really fucking you guys up, huh? Easy peasy, we got it. But it's Ocean's turn. The statue is looking re like it's it's like crumbled. Parts of it, like chunks of it, are taken off. It looks it looks gnarly. Okay, I'm gonna try to hit it with my hammer. Oh, oh, I 
I'm so excited. Does a 15 hit? 15 hits. Yeah. So it's eight bludgeoning damage and then uh, four, four radiant. So 12 Describe damage. Describe your destruction of this yes. uh, vampiric jade statue. It just bash its head off. Just <laughs> whack. <laughs> Okay. And we are officially out of initiative order. Okay, now I'm going to um, lay some hands on Dunlum. I'm going to lay some hands on Baz and just grab him and point him back at the ghast because I feel like okay, I saw well, its My eye hands twitch. heal. Like, mm, 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 <laughs> I'm going to heal Dunlum for 10. Hands. Touching hands. <laughs> Do we uh do we think it's safe to, to when it's not gonna like get back together again? It's like fully It's Humpty Dumpty the statue. Um you can make uh a investigation check on it. I'm not good at that. I'm, <laughs> I I'm just gonna go I'm not smart. I'm just gonna reach down and I'm gonna be like junk bag open. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. I'm just going to hork its head in there. Well, there, we got rid of one of the parts of it. At least. You're putting okay. the jade head inside of the bag. Yeah, nice. I also just gather yes. off any shattered pieces that will fit, and then I go back to the cupboard and scoop the rest of the gems. <laughs> no one has stopped me now! Hopefully. Uh, <laughs> Hopefully. Uh... Apparently, I totally. Wait, how? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, don't worry Number about it. There were two vampiric chase statues. Wait, yeah, we it's just... weird. There's no door into this room. Oh, there's the other door on the other side. And then the... Okay. This door. Um, you're right. I missed it. Yeah. Um, so. Yeah, it doesn't really tell me how many, like, jewels and shit there are there. Did they maybe not expect us to fight that thing that had legendary actions and legendary resistances? I feel like maybe they're like, no, no one would actually fucking take this thing on. Uh, no, it's, uh, I mean, yes, but, uh, I found the part. It's on a different part of the page. It says false treasure. The shining contents no. of the treasure chest and urns are deceptive. They consist of nothing more than gold-painted wooden coins, iron rings, painted silver, and bits of colored glass. That feels really fitting. I'm just going to finish scooping up the rest of the jade statue and the <laughs> creme in the bag. So we have this to remember it by. I'm going to put this place down, right? When we leave, it's just burning. Sure. We're just going to burn it. Twice. Everything. Um, there is an unopened strong box in the room that you didn't touch. Yes. But it's a mimic. It. <laughs> Let me go over and investigate for traps and whatnot. Sure. Nine. Uh, doesn't seem like it's trapped that you can tell. Let's, uh, let's try to open it. Okay. I'll, I'll try to open it. If it's not locked. Uh, it is not locked. You open it, and I need you to make a dexterity saving throw as a poisoned needle flies out at you. It was trapped. It sure was, buddy. You yeah. let me do it. Dexterity the saving needle wouldn't well, have been much of an issue. Yeah. No. 17. Uh, 17 saves. So, uh, you don't take half damage on a save, or half damage on a save. You just... It misses me. It's fine. Oh, yeah, I thought you meant like it's still full damage. I'm like, then why is it a save? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a constant. Um, yeah, it says DC 14 deck save thrower take 4d8 poison damage. Oh, shit. Oh, the thick yeah. Me. yeah, no, it's brutal. This place is brutal, man. Um, okay. The strong box contains nothing but old rags, bits of metal, and a small piece of paper with the message. Dear thief, a lot of work for nothing, wasn't it? 
Virgil look over. Gunk, there's a note for you. Ow. Are you a druid craft to start a small campfire in the box and just burn the box? I can do that with druid craft. I can just make small fires. Yeah. Uh, but you notice as you're doing this, this is supposed to be a hidden door, but you notice it because your oh. passive perception is high that there is a door behind that strong box. Cool. Odalum has limped his way over to the corner and is ritually casting Prayer of Healing. Whether that happens or not, we'll see. Do we want to take a short rest? Ow. Yes, please. We, Fair yeah, enough. We could take a short rest. We could take 20 minutes or 40 minutes. Let us take a breather. Yeah? What do you guys want to do? I'm going to dive back into my books, my five bundle books on creepy things. or whatever they were. Grim and harrowing. Virgil's just kind of cleaning weapons and like, ow. It was a nice fight or something didn't bite me. Ow. Also occasionally still just going to wave at the ghast. Hi, buddy. Um, okay, he's just hanging out in there with you. Uh, okay, so are you going to take a short rest, or are you going to do ritual healing? Uh, I, I'm kind of yeah. in favor of short resting. Okay. Yeah. So let's just say, uh, we'll take an hour and, uh, roll your hit dice. Let's just do that now, and then we can, uh, we can be done for the night. And you can explore more of the Abbey Ruins in two weeks. Because let me Lovely. tell you, there is a lot more to explore here. I yes. don't like that because this place is hurting us badly every room. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're going to run out of hit dice at some point. I'm just about there. <laughs> you just take a nap in one of the cellars. Wow. wow. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Joel. Do you roll the dice left? One, a one. Oh, okay, there we go. Two, okay, that's, that's nice. And then that's an nice. Eight. Okay. Yeah, that was on my hit dice. I'm not full. Okay. We get the nine extra from your thing? Yes, you do. I'm at full. Okay, so um, everybody's real. They're healed now ish, but spell slots are low. Morale is low. Uh, all of that is uh, nice and low, and you still have so much more to explore. So uh, we will find out what you choose to do in two weeks' time. Yes! Yay! <laughs> Thanks so much for tuning in, everybody. We appreciate it, as always. Um, tune in tomorrow, starting at 8.30 p.m. Eastern for Spire, GM'd by the Always Dreamy and then on Friday for us uh, coming back for our season wrap up of the second season of Goats and Dragons, The Fates of Rin. Uh, there's been a lot of uh, smoke from some wildfires in the area, so I am not looking forward to trying to get my voice to the register of charity, uh, especially with having had a couple months off. And I'm like, crap, what is charity's voice? Crap, how do I make charity's voice, especially right now? Uh, but that should be good fun. That'll be Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Uh, like I was, as I said, follow us here on Twitch, uh, totally free. Get notified when we go live. Uh, you can also sub for free. You have Amazon Prime. You have Twitch Prime. You can sub to us for free, or you can sub to us for some cash. Either way, it supports us. Let's us do more of this. We appreciate it so much. From all of us here at Helpful Goat, hope you have a wonderful evening. Stay safe. Be well. Be kind to yourselves and to each other. Love you all. There once was a ship that sailed the coast, and the name of that ship was the Sea Ghost. The winds blew harder, bow dip down, blow me, bully boys, blow. Rah. Soon gangs of Sunday come with glory toes and swords and rum. One day when the smuggling is done, they take his leave and go. Rah. He not been two days on land When on came in an adventurous band He tried to hide in contraband But took his final blow 
Soon the menagerie come, a horse turtle, elf, and owl, and grown. One day when the shopping is done, they'll take their leave and go. The council bid them set to sail, following on some lizard's trail, with wispy brows and bikini plate mail, in search of lost cargo. Ah! Soon the menagerie come, to find out where them lizards are from. One day when the talking is done, they'll take their leave and